I am Dr. Sandeep Burathoki. I am interventional neuroradiologist in Neurospinal Hospital. We treat in this room the patient with brain hemorrhage, the patient with ruptured brain aneurysms. Brain aneurysms are balloon-like dilatation of the brain artery and uh, it represents the weak point in the artery and it slowly enlarges and at one point of time it might rupture. If the aneurysm ruptures, patient would have sudden onset of severe headache which he would describe as the worst headache of his life. So this headache would be very severe and it will persist longer, would not respond to usual pain medicines. Once the brain aneurysm is detected, we do a conventional angiogram and we study the aneurysm properly and we discuss the case with our brain unit. If whenever feasible, we treat the aneurysm by endovascular route and that is known as endovascular coiling. Aneurysms are not congenital, they are not inherited most of the time and one is not born with the aneurysms. Aneurysms are developed during the lifetime and they are considered to be hemodynamic in the origin. They are related to blood flow. So there will be a particular location of the aneurysm uh, where these aneurysms develop. So they are related to smoking and hypertension. Excessive alcohol is also related to rupture of these aneurysms. So these are the three factors smoking, excessive alcohol and hypertension which are modifiable factors related to development and growth of the aneurysm as well as rupture of the aneurysms. So this is known as endovascular therapy of uh, aneurysms. This is known as endovascular because we treat the aneurysms from within the artery. So we, this artery uh, in the brain is connected to the leg artery so we puncture the leg artery by a small hole maybe of 2 mm and we pass a, a wire and catheter from the leg artery across the abdomen, across the neck to the aneurysm. Once we reach there, we, we occlude that artery, we fill that aneurysm with the coils and the coils are made up of platinum. They are very soft platinum coils and uh, they accommodate inside the, uh, inside the aneurysm and they fill the aneurysm and displace the blood and aneurysm will thrombose and will be secluded from the brain circulation. Yes, of course, uh, if the aneurysm is ruptured and we treat it, normally we advise the patient to take rest for two to three weeks and after, after three weeks, patient can resume their daily activities, they can resume exercise and swimming. And if the treated aneurysm was not ruptured before, it is unruptured aneurysm, we can advise a patient to resume daily activity after one week. If the brain aneurysm rupture, it would cause sudden onset of severe headache, but sometimes there would be a leak of the aneurysm where the headache would not be that severe. So if the headache is either severe or it's very unusual, uh, one should consult emergency department and uh, should get the CT scan done. And CT scan would confirm the presence of brain hemorrhage. Anybody who is watching this video, my advice is if you have severe headache, consult your doctor and if there is a brain hemorrhage, get CT angiography done and consult neurosurgeon, consult us. And once the aneurysm is being treated, modify your lifestyle, quit smoking if you smoke, quit alcohol if you consume alcohol and uh, control your blood pressure and have a, a vegetarian diet. Thank you very much for watching.